What's up guys? Classy Metal here. I've got an unboxing video for you guys today. Uh, it's one I kind of dropped the ball on. I actually almost forgot that I had this box sitting. Uh, it came in on a day that I got a ton of stuff in, set some stuff to the side, and it's probably been here about two weeks and I have not opened it yet. So that, that's a bit embarrassing. I kind of dropped the ball because I don't know if these are still available. So I apologize for that. But what I have today is a 10 CD box from Preserving Hardcore. They had a moving sale. Apparently they're moving uh, physical locations and they had a sale going in on their web store. It was 10 CDs for $10. I'm going to link all that up in the description just in the off chance that it's available again or that type of stuff. At least you can see what I saw when I purchased it. Web store is still open. They have a ton of cool stuff going on that. I think they have a death metal sale going right now and all that type of stuff. This wasn't necessarily a grab bag or mystery box per se because they gave a rundown of the artist that were going to be in this box. I, it did not tell what release from the artist or that type of stuff, but it kind of gave a, a heads up of which artist to expect when uh, opening this up. I haven't even looked at the listing in a while, so I, I mean, my, my memory is a, a little foggy on what's going to be in this, but I figure it's uh, it's way past due for me to open this up and share this with you guys. Like I said, it's all going to be in the description. That way, if you see something or you want to go check their web store out, definitely go do so. There's probably, since it's coming from uh, Preserving Hardcore, there's probably going to be a good chunk of hardcore actually in this box. As always, I'm not just super versed on hardcore. I mean, I do enjoy hardcore from time to time, but there's probably going to be several things in here that uh, I'm going to be ignorant on, and uh, I might rely on you guys to kind of shine some light. I'm not expecting anything just super great. Uh, I'm, there's probably going to be some good listens because I know Abassinate was one of the bands in this. Their, their releases are always super cheap, but I do enjoy their material. Not knocking the material, I just think a lot of these albums that are going to be in here are probably going to be readily available. Uh, you're not going to offer 10 CDs for 10 bucks for something that you can make, you know, tenfold on, on selling on their own. So. Doesn't look like there was too much packing material uh, in this. Kind of, I mean, I guess, but at a dollar a disc, you can't expect too much. I think the shipping on this was probably around five, six, I think it was actually four dollars. So, like I said, it, it, the memory's a bit cloudy because I've had this and they did send it media mail. I, I know it was less than 20 bucks for 10 CDs shipped. So, have them all out of the box, and we're just going to run through these pretty quick. I'm not going to make a super long video on this, especially with the fact that I don't know if these are still available or not. Uh, first up, we have a Terra Firma with a Silence Cries. Not familiar with that one. So like I said, there's going to be some stuff in here that, um, that I'm just not super familiar with, so I'm kind of going to rely on you guys to uh, give me some insight down in the comments before I actually take the time to listen to these myself. Uh, this one came out in 2000, so this is almost looking like some of that uh, MySpace era. Actually, MySpace wasn't even around in 2000. I don't know what I'm talking about. Pre-MySpace era core music there. So uh, Next up, we have uh, a Bassinate with a portrayal of the Gray Man. I believe this is the split with God Rot. So pretty good album here. God Rot puts on some uh, good death metal. A Bassinate has that death metal, death chorus feel going on, but I do enjoy uh, Abassinate's material. I've heard this split before, but it was not in the collection, so I'm glad to have a copy of this now. Next up, we have In the Eyes of with uh, Jezebel. I'm not familiar with this one. It's on Brothers for Life, so sounds very hardcore-ish, that whole Unity theme. This one is not sealed like the uh, first two were. So we can open it up. I have a feeling some of this will probably end up in my trade list. I'm still working my way through that previous uh, hardcore grab bag that I did. There's some stuff in there that I really enjoy, and there's been some stuff that's just not for me. So the, uh, the trade list and, and giveaway list will be growing here pretty soon. Uh, next up, we have Nora with Dreamers and Dead Men. I've heard of this one. I have not uh, ever list, listened to it, but I've, I've seen that artwork and that band name around several times when uh, 
searching for new albums to purchase and that type stuff. So I'll definitely give this a shot. But uh, I, I can't attest to uh, what this sounds like. It's on uh, Trust Kill. It came out in 2003. So some of this stuff has been around for a while. Uh, next up, we have uh, Terrible Minds with uh, Devolution. Uh, looks to be self-released as I do not see any type of label. Looks pretty interesting. That looks like something that I'll probably um, start off with. It'll be probably be one of the first that I choose to check out from this actual box. So definitely looks like something that could possibly be possibly be right up my alley. Next up, we have a uh, One Step Too Many with uh, Under the Bar, and the picture on the back looks kind of funny to me. This was released in 2008 on uh, Wired Wrist Studios, but that picture of the band, they all look 12 years old. So, yeah. Moving on. Uh, next up, we have Lynchpin with uh, 20 years, 7 months, and 27 days. My memory is telling me that, I, that I've heard this and I did enjoy this. But it's been so long ago that I've actually listened to this that uh, I can't I can't I can't talk about what actually uh, this is. I know this has been out for quite some time, and uh, but I do remember enjoying uh, Lynchpin. So this is one that's been in my collection a couple times already. I guess I'm kind of doomed to own this. This is a uh, too pure to die with a uh, confess. Not horrible. It's just kind of a tough guy, hardcore. Uh, this is on Trust Kill. Kind of what you expect when you uh, when you see that a, a band is signed to Trust Kill Records. Kind of you kind of get that uh, that accessible hardcore feel from it. But I mean, it's not terrible. It's just that uh, not something that I'm going to find myself listening to all the time. I guess I'm just going to keep that one in the collection as. It apparently uh, is destined to be here. Uh, next up, we have uh, Alan with about five seconds. This is one that I'm. This came out in 1999 on uh, something Core Records, Dacore Records. This is one that I feel like I should know, but I do not. So, this is my uh, hardcore ignorance coming out and pure. Pure blazing glory. So, yeah, that's Alan with uh, about five seconds. Next up, we have some uh, some more Too Pure to Die with Only the True Remain. And uh, I did not ever have this one in the collection, so maybe this is just like apparently a little four-track EP. I may enjoy this one a little bit more than Confess. So, And then last but not least, we have uh, Definitely Not the Majors, a Bush League Records compilation. So that is just a compilation. Um, it's got Nora on here, which I just got as Darkness Falls. I got uh, something from them not too long ago. Stark Weathers on here. So not not bad. Colus is on. Colus is on here. So uh, probably some pretty some pretty decent stuff. Maybe it'll be a, a gateway of finding some stuff that uh, I haven't listened to before. So that was just a little quick unboxing of that. I wasn't expecting anything just too too amazing. Uh, I think I got some pretty decent stuff. I, something, some of this stuff I'm just gonna have to spend a little bit more time with. I apologize that I'm just not that versed on hardcore, but I wanted to open this box. It's been sitting there forever, and uh, didn't want to get tossed under a shelf and then me, me completely forget about it. So that's all I've got for today. Stay classy, stay metal. I've got the next seven CDs, uh, seven albums picked for the next seven Deadly Spins. I'm, I'm in the midst of spending some time with those and. Uh, and, and kind of getting my words together for what I want to say about each of those albums, but that will be up very soon, so stay tuned for that. Stay classy, stay metal. I'll see you all very soon, I promise.